Singapore has set aside 1,000 isolation-type beds in hospitals just for COVID-19 patients. 80% of them are currently occupied by infected and suspected cases. At the same time, the health minister has stressed the need to safeguard the healthcare system from being overloaded by a possible surge in cases. There is a deeper underlying reason why we had to throttle back to phase two heightened alert, which we have not really explained in a very detailed way in public. And that is to protect our healthcare system. The odds of a large surge in cases are stacked against us. We knew that when a cluster grows uncontrollably, infection numbers would double every seven to 10 days, which meant that hospital beds could fill up in a week. Beyond that, we could be overwhelmed. The Health Ministry's update yesterday night reported that more than 540 COVID-19 patients are in stable condition in hospitals, while two are in the intensive care unit. Even then, Mr. Ong adds that 70 ICU beds have opened up, with more to be added in the coming weeks. His comments come at a virtual award ceremony where he spoke to over 160 healthcare scholarship recipients. He applauded them for choosing the right profession, even in these difficult times. One recipient says she's eager to give back to the community. All the healthcare professions, actually, we all come together to help provide the best uh, possible care for, uh, for the patient. But I feel that as an occupational therapist, I'm actually helping them uh, live in their home as comfortably as possible so that they are able to move around independently.